Do you remember when this used to come and steal one gallon cans, four liter cans? And they had a guy poking holes in it and the sealer in the antifreeze would seal up the hole in the can. That's way back when we were all babies. I am wondering where my tripod went. I have just put all the parts back together in the last hour. The overflow radiator control bottle, all the hoses, the air cleaner, the silencer, the heater hoses that attach to the heater core underneath the windshield wiper motor, a little hard to get to, but you can get in there. And now I'm going to fill this sucker up and I'm going to see if I can get that bleeder loose on the upper hose, which is actually the lower hose, which is actually the upper hose. And fill this up with Prestone and crank this baby up and I'm thinking about changing both front rotors, even though one is badly scored. We got a really good deal. 30% off, kind of, sort of, at advanceauto.com. We called them up, spent an hour on the phone, an hour yesterday, an hour today. And we're going to fill her up with Prestone. Everything's in place. Everything's tightened up. All the hoses are back on. I forgot to put the little wire on. Yep. Always something you forget. That's why you gotta double check your work and when customers start bugging you, they become a nuisance because you lose your train of thought. I didn't put the upper fan, the electric fan mount in place. So I put the upper shroud in place and, oop, missing a bolt. Got one long one left here, but it's longer than the others. I guess it goes there. I'll go to the junkyard and get some spare ones. I went to Sam's Club and bought antifreeze, ten dollars a gallon, ten bucks for four one liter bottle equivalents if we're in Europe or anywhere else in the world that they don't use the imperial system, they use the metric system or the US gallon system. Imperial is in Canada. Oh, you caught me making a video, Mrs. C.W. Just gonna... Whoops! I'll turn it off. Mrs. C.W. has to inform me of something important. I'm no sure. glow plugs! Just crank her up. I put in four and a half, five quarts of tranny oil. Crank her up! <laughs> Battery is going dead because I had to. Actually, I don't think the interior lights work. Whee! Runs real smooth. Good old Chevy. Go by, just a little slimy, a little bit. Tranny dipstick is busted. How do you like that? Broke the end off. Gotta wait for the cooling system to bleed some of the air out. And the bottom hose was the wrong one. And next, I'm gonna do the brakes. I bought. Bought new rotors, I got a really good deal. Got a big online discount. So I got jacks, I got shocks, I got rear shoes, I got antifreeze, I've got filter gasket left over, and I've got made in China rotors, or maybe they're made in India. Look at that hose they gave me. It's just a little too long. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Rotors are made in China. And the brake caliper is remanufactured in an unknown spot. And I think the brake pads are made in India. Premium. Yep. Crank that baby up. You like that, huh? A little burnout in the front yard. That's the way you gotta do it. You gotta test them. Runs real smooth. I opened up the bleeder there earlier and liquid was coming out of there. It'll bleed by itself. It's not one of those vehicles where the radiator is below the engine, it's above. So I think we'll get the air out of it on its own. I gotta check the tranny oil and I wanna change the engine oil. I'll take it for a drive and get it nice and hot. I'm gonna do the brakes right now. I'm not gonna leave it run long enough to heat up. Alrighty, got to fill the oil filter up with oil before I install it. Always a good idea. Got my oil filter wrench. 
And remember, don't forget September 11th. Hard to believe it's 14 years. It's going to be 14 years. Crazy. Oh, we've got an onboard air compressor, huh? My father had that on his Cadillac a long time ago. Yeah, underneath the air cleaner is an onboard rattly air compressor to kind of pump up the back shocks. Jeez. My friend Gas Sub Wild had one of these when he was a rich man in Japan. Get a white one with no wood sides. Turn off, you noisy compressor. I'm listening to a story about Wayne yeah. Gretzky and skating. Future skating season. And with the information. All right, I'm going to jack up the front and get it off the ramps and see if I can change those front brakes. Then i got to get those mufflers secure. They're rattling. Can't handle that. It'd be a shame to give up the nice shiny rental. 15, was it 18 bucks a day? Oh, well. Party barge time. Could have bought a Mercedes. Formatic. Troublesome. Can't buy parts in Kansas. Brake pads right down to the rivets. Hollow rivets. Rotor scored up a little bit, but it's not too bad. I've seen a lot worse in my day. I was saying on the forum that even though the rotor's got a bit of scoring in it, the brake pads will wear into the scoring, and the scoring is actually less than I thought. Sixteenth of an inch. I've seen them on back in the early 80s when GM introduced the X car, the Citation Omega. Skylark and Phoenix. Those cars were really hard on the front brakes, really hard. And I remember seeing front pads had worn right through this side of the rotor and the uh, pad was pushing against the fins and the piston would pop out of the cylinder, the caliper, or the rotor would break right off the hub. And you'd squeeze the brake and the rotor would stop and the hub would keep on turning. So this is just marginal. It's not rusty. They're not thin at all. So this is totally acceptable. I'm not going to put the new rotors on, even though we have them. Not necessary. Try to save my friend Iron Man. Iron Man. Some money he made by this Buick Roadmaster LT1. Crank her up. More worn brake pads right down past the rivets, but the rotor's not scored too badly. Alrighty, this one's still good. I could reuse that one. We've still got a 32nd of an inch. One hair's breadth left. The CW is whining and complaining. I hear you, Mrs. CW. Alright, we all got her all greased up. I'm gonna put her back together with the new Made in India top of the line brake pads. Made in India. Wherever that Ants is. Ants under the moldings. Yeah, Mrs. CW is really impressed. Should have bought the Mercedes, huh? 1500 bucks, ready to go. Instead, we're going to be driving around in an ant colony. i got to vacuum up these ants. i got to fire this baby up. It ran out of fuel. It was going blah, 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 and rocking and rolling and spark knocking. And... Let's see if she's all right now. There we go. Put a couple gallons in it. Running well right now. Good. Run well, please. Got a big drive. <laughs>